So in, in class we were going to be building a cradle for exhibition display uh, of our books that we've been beating up and repairing. Um, so I'm going to try and explain how that's done um, at a couple of levels. Uh, this is um, a book cradle that's been made out of Vivac. Vivac is a, uh, a plastic material which um, under pressure will will bend and fold quite easily. Um, if I put a piece on the edge of the bench here, it's, you can see quite, it's quite easy to bend a short piece. Obviously the long pieces, um, longer depths need uh, to be put into a clamp and then forced over a couple of times to put that crease in. But um, yeah, this is the basic premise. Um, the two feet are to stop the book sliding off, and those are literally just stuck onto the back with double-sided tape and the extensions coming forward. So it does have a little bit of spring, um, and obviously the opening of the book is dictated by the binding structure. If it's a really tight binding structure, um, then the cradle would be uh, not quite as, uh, as angled. Uh, you'd have it more closed, but you can still see the pages. Uh, they do tend to settle a bit, and sometimes I'll put a support mechanism underneath there, depending on the size of the book. So, um, yeah, the, um, the way of stopping the, uh, the pages from opening is using a uh, polyester tape, uh, sorry, polyethylene strapping, um, this is available from Gaylord, as is the, uh, the Vivac. Um, and we put strapping across here and tape it onto the back of the books. So you can use the uh, polyethylene strapping. Um, you can tape it around onto the back, uh, so it doesn't really matter what kind of tape you use. It's not in direct contact with the, uh, the book. Um, so yeah, um, obviously the, uh, the opening dictates to some degree where the creases are. Uh, this particular frame, uh, cradle, uh, I'm just kind of reusing for this, but it's got a couple of options as to where you want to put the creasing in. So I could use this for, for a narrower spine if I manipulate it, uh, which is a little tough. The, lo the wider it is, the more difficult it is to, to manipulate. I can change the design to some degree. I could even put bigger boards on top of here if I wanted to use, a, use uh, extensions to, to display a larger book. So our books in class, um, the plan was to just make a simplified version of this that, uh, that would still be effective. Um, and if I, if I flatten this out a little, uh, you, can, you can see it's just one piece. Uh, the, the extensions here, we want a reasonable amount so that it's got some legs to stand on. So I'm going to use this piece um, and just give it three inch legs to start with. So I think I'm on camera. So with a sharpie, ignore that first dot there. Um, so that's my first mark, there's my leg. The spine I'm just going to mark in the middle. And the edge of the book. A three inch cut. And I'm just going to run across to the board here and, and cut this off. That's my keeping part. So, there's my, uh, my strip. Let me just check the angle of the camera. Yes, I'm good. So, as I say, normally we'd, uh, we'd crease a larger sheet inside a clamp and just bend it backwards and forwards. The, the book presses uh, are pretty good for that. They're about 18 inches wide. Um, but this one, I'm just going to square it up with the edge of the bench. Obviously, that's not square. I'm kind of guessing a little bit for the camera view. And I'm holding this onto the bench and I can just bend that down. I can do the same with these guys. To get the bend started. 
and there's a, there's a finite number of times you can crease these but it's quite substantial so I'm not too worried about it uh, snapping off. So this uh, Vivac, you can see from this one it's perfectly clear, this one has a plastic coating, uh, just a cellophane wrap. So as I've marked Sharpie marks on top of there, they now come off with the, uh, with the top layer. And I'm just going to peel off the remainder, putting the lid on my Sharpie so I don't get uh, pen marks on the book. And oops, there's a pretty easy, quick uh, book cradle. So obviously, we can adjust the length of the feet by trimming areas, uh, just trimming a little bit off, uh, probably an inch at a time, something like that. And this would probably need to be strapped around onto the uh, onto the book cradle like that. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a wonderful material. You can use it for uh, making um, cradle mounts, uh, sorry, caption mounts um, to display uh, captions more upright or you can adjust the angles. Uh, wonderful stuff, brilliant invention. We used to spend like days making, uh, making uh, cradles out of uh, book binding board uh, and then covering them with cloth and it's obviously really time consuming and really expensive and not necessarily reusable for a different size book. Okay.